What's up survivors? How's everybody doing today? I'm Beardzerker. Welcome back to another episode of Subsistence. Today I am going to be working on finishing up the animal housing. I got the layout pretty much done already. I just want to finish it with you guys. It took me a little while to get everything straightened out and situated how I wanted it. And then also going to be working on the kitchen. Uh, not too sure what I'm going to be able to put down. I have the oven already made up, ready to go. Animal housing is made up, ready to go. I'm just not too sure what I want to do with the roofing over there. The roofing over there. And uh, everything else. I don't know if I want to put the kitchen upstairs or downstairs. Because I know the bottom floor is just going to be for crafting. And uh, pretty much it. I know i got the dive station put down there yet. The lathe. And I think something else that I'm forgetting here trying to catch a fish early in the morning to see what I get but it's not going too well here yet so uh, in between episodes some of the comments from the last video I did raid the fortress over there and the comments uh, three or four people, people tell me that uh, I missed the freaking loot chest on the third floor which after, after I watched it back I don't know how I missed it man so next raid over there I'll make sure to get all three chests plus the biofuel out of the burners so I, I did miss some stuff over there Probably driving you guys crazy, but uh, it is what it is. Live and learn, you know. So I was just in a hurry to get out of there. I was panicking, didn't want to die again. So that's about it. I did have another encounter encounter with uh, Moose Winkle over there. Did die once again. Uh, some hit points went back down to 80, but I'm back up to 81 now. So that's all right. I don't know if you changed something on the moose or what, but it used to be three times and they attack you. Uh, but now it seems every time I attack him the first time, he uh, comes over and attacks me, so. I got another puny fish on my line here, looks like, so I'm not going to be eating too well this morning. But I'll deal with it for now, so. There is that. Besides the moose, the, the moose, besides the moose death, really not mu not too much happened. Uh, no hunter's attack or anything like that. Just a bunch of loot and chopping wood. All that fun off-camera stuff, you know. So, I'll go ahead and throw this guy in the fryer quick. Give me my minuscule protein. Put some stuff on the fire. And we will get to building here. Yeah, so I got the oven made up already, animal housing, and the frying pan already made up, ready to go. So, I keep wanting to call this animal husbandry. I don't know what game that's from. I think it's from medieval... Dynasty or something I've been playing, so Animal Husbandry in that game, Animal Housing in this game, so it's alright. Same, same, you know. Yeah, get this fish for it fries. Stuff cooks up pretty quick. I'm pretty sure I'm set up on uh, cotton as well. Pretty much all I need for right now, unless I'm missing something. I think all I have left to make is the winter coat, the winter jacket. Everything else is just going to be repairing all my stuff I already have, so... I did go ahead and make up the heavy-duty pants and shirt, so I'm pretty much armored up as much as I can be. As far as I know, I don't know if any of that stuff can be upgraded or, or what, so... This is what I got in between episodes. Not too much stuff. It was pretty funny watching people at the fortress over there. They're getting attacked. I heard all these gunshots. I went over there and was checking it out, and this bear killed freaking three of them. So I went and looted their bodies and... Got some uh, weapons parts and all that fun stuff, so lots of metal. Refueled on my nails. I'm going to take those out of there now because I'm going to need those. Uh, nails, lots of hunting done, and all that crap. So I am low on sinew, which uh, kind of sucks because I do need rope to upgrade this animal housing and to make that jacket. So going to keep a lookout for moose because I really don't want to go for cougars or panthers or whatever the hell they are because they're dangerous mofos and I will most likely die when I'm over there so so I got my nails I need to grab my cordage and my planks should be enough for right now so let me take you over to the animal housing area I put down foundations and snapped walls to them and then just removed the foundations so it, it was just too big with the foundations out there so it seems to be working out pretty well I'm probably just going to do two solids, two windows, and a door right here. So I'm going to get to crafting that stuff up now. So, two solids, two windows, a door frame, and a door. I'm not sure how this uh, 
roof is going to work. I think I'll just probably do the same thing. So I probably need six slants. Six slants, three caps, and probably two walls. That's what I'm guessing, so. Let's see what we got. There's always bears over here that always has me kind of worried. I don't think the bears and wolves will attack your animals, but I just kind of wanted to make a nice little housing area. I got water poking through right here, so I can just refill the uh, water containers and put them right in the animal housing, so. Yep. Pretty nice little area. Turning out pretty nice. It took me a while to get these stairs lined up correctly because I couldn't walk through the door right uh, when I first had it set up, so I had to move some stuff around and all that crap, so. This guy gave me some good meat for for breakfast. Could kill him quick. Oh man. Yeah, everything takes time in this game, man. Masterly really holds you back, and that's not facing the right way. Yeah, I don't think there's a way to get your uh I have to put a wall underneath those. It's not gonna look right when I take off those. Foundations. Hmm. Yeah, I think it'll manage for now. Alright. Snap my door in there. Want it to open out. Yeah, okay, nice. Alright, not too shabby. Alright, start crafting up those roof pieces. We'll grab the animal husbandry, animal housing thing. Six, three caps. Probably two half walls of snap in there. There's health kit. And when I died from that frickin' moose, man, I had health kits on my bar and everything. I just panicked as always and died, tried to shotgun him to death, but uh, I think he was level 4 as well, so I don't know if he killed a hunter and was already pissed off or, or what, so. Bad luck or no skill on my part, so. Don't know which one it was. What am I doing? Grabbing the animal housing. At the animal housing, I'm not sure if I want to do the, uh, I'm not sure which one I would do first, either the, either the feces tray, which I, I think I'll do because I'm hurting pretty bad on fertilizer and all that stuff, or, uh, the free range where they don't use as much food. I don't even need the caps. Don't even need the caps. Nice. Yeah, so I'm not too sure what I want to do. I think I have enough for one upgrade. Mm, yeah, I think I have enough for one upgrade on the animal housing. Let's see what I have left for power after the uh, after I make the fridge, because I have enough power and shit to do that. So we'll see what happens. See how much I have left and time constraints as well, you know. So we'll see. We'll see. See what I got. Right. Not too shabby. Oh yeah, I'm not even sure if I want to put a door on this side. Probably just leave this open. I don't even need those caps. I didn't. I forgot to not make those, but I actually slide those under here. Yep, just like that. There we go. I don't think I need stairs here for that. 
I could slide another one underneath there. Yeah, let's do that. Make it all even, Steven. Alright, throw this animal housing down quick. Try not to kill that wolf, my... I don't like my protein being that low. I got to worry about too much once I get the stove and all that shit rolling. I'll be able to get my stats up a lot quicker with that liver and onions and whatever else. Alright, put this bad boy down. Alright, what do we got for upgrades here? I have one animal in here at a time until you do the upgrade on... What is it? Additional animal slots can hold three max. It's not too bad, only one uh, ingot bar, metal ingot bar, so... Not too bad, but I only have two for right now, so I'll probably be able to do, maybe be able to do the uh, feces tray. But we'll see what I have for power left after that fridge, because I'm going to get that fridge done first and foremost. So, we will see. Alright. Now I need stairs there, because that freaking thing will let me out. Alright, let's just put some stairs down. That yeah, was something. Probably need to put a chest in here too. Keep some uh, canteens, I can just fill them up and transfer them over. Probably move this over actually. Problem is I gotta stay in that blue area. We'll probably get the water from right there, maybe. I think the mining drill can get water too, so I might put the mining drill right in that freaking uh, corner there so I can get water whenever I need it. Start stuck piling my blueberry juice or whatever. Where'd my stairs go? Nope. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Not too bad. Protected from the elements. I just wanted peace of mind for my animals, you know? I don't want anything happening. So you got that. I gotta catch a chicken yet. Put some t tomatoes and water in there and be good to go. See if I can craft a chest. What do I need for a chest? Yeah, just throw one in here for now. Not too bad. Though. I got a pretty neat idea for the sniper tower as well, so. Come on. Down on the ground. No, not gonna let me. All right. What if I do a quarter wood ceiling? Put it in the corner. That'll probably work. Put it right in the corner there. So yeah, I may be able to do one this episode, upgrade on here, and I'll just do the other one in between episodes. Free range of the feces, tr most likely the feces tray man, because my plants are hurting pretty bad. Alright, yeah, just like that. Just like that. Yeah, let's keep a bunch of canteens in there and food and all that crap, so. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Did I move these? I think I'm gonna move these over there. <laughs> if I can get up there. Man, what am I doing? I'm just gonna get these out of the way for now. I'll move these shits over there later. Probably use these for the dock. I'm gonna leave these outer ones here, I think. I'll probably take the outside ones off. I don't really need this one here either. So 
But yeah, kitchen setup's gonna be kind of tricky. I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do, but I'll deal with that. Can always move it around if need be. So this guy's gotta go. Oh, wrong button. Give me your meat. And a liver, nice. Make some liver and onions if I hurry up. If I have the power, that is. Yeah, six foundation should, should take me out far enough to where I want to be. Take the dock out, then I'll put a fishing hut out there for ice fishing and all that crap. Not too sure how I want to build that up yet, but. We're getting there. We are getting there. Day by day, you know? I think it's day freaking 76 or something right now. 70... 74. Died six times. Not too... not bad, but, you know, could be better. Could, have, could be almost at 90 hit points now, so... It's alright, I'll get them. I will get them. So, ideal for the sniper towers is to come out straight from the middle here. I'll probably have to go out two foundations and then build up round foundations on the outside and just build a circle up from there. I think it'll look pretty sweet once it's done, so make it higher than the building, of course. So, I'd probably make it three or four stories is too much, I think. Probably make it at least three stories, so we'll see what I decide. We will see what I decide, so. Uh, also the greenhouse setup, I don't know if I want to make the greenhouse off over here. So it's probably going to have to be pretty large, so I'm going to put probably six plots on there. Either out over this way, or out over this way, somewhere in the water. I want to keep it near the water so it's easy to get water for that crap and all that stuff. So I didn't like walking through the water before, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier to get water for your canteen. So. We'll see what happens with that. Unless I am low on freaking ore. I got 45 freaking cotton, so I think that's really all I need for right now. Unless I'm missing something, let me know. But my ore is pretty much depleted. I think I only have five left because I made all these iron ingots and all that crap, so. I'm gonna save that for the stove. For now, I'm just gonna put the freaking kitchen stuff down here. I'll move it around later if need be, so. Alright, got my stove. Let's see what I need for this fridge here. Uh, 12 metal, 15 electronics. And all my wood for this freaking mass. Recycler here. Stored this aside just for that. Yep, should be good to go. Alright, we are refrigerating, baby. I'm just not sure how much power that freaking thing takes, so... We'll see. How much power I have coming in? 0.66? Uh, I did the first upgrade on all those solar panels, so it seems to be working out pretty well. I doubt I'll have enough to do that free range. My mass is not going to come back fast enough. And do not burn your food, please. That would be great, thanks. Nice. Yeah, I'm just going to put this stuff right here for now. I don't think they can damage it from the outside, right? Can they damage that stuff from the outside? I'm not sure how that works. I'm gonna keep it out of the way of the window for now. Boom! How do I put the, uh... pan on there? Uh... Seven? Nope. Is this thing backwards? No, the dial is on the front. Oh, equipment, there we go. Equipment, there we are. Boom! 
cook. So I can make hash browns, liver and onions, steak and eggs, honey glazed pork and vegetables. Probably just be these first two. Doesn't tell you what it gives you though, so I'm going to have to make one to see. It's probably straight up protein, no vegetables. That's probably, yeah. Just vegetables. Hmm. What do you need to make up? I only need 80 power to make a steak and eggs or a uh, liver and onions. I'm gonna go make one up right now. Before that liver goes bad. That's cool. Places it right on top. Awesome. Where do I want this fridge? Out of harm's way, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna put the frickin' kitchen upstairs, man. I don't feel comfortable with this shit being downstairs. I'm just gonna slide it right in the corner for now. Definitely doesn't look the greatest, but, uh, yeah. Uh, turn on. Power out, point two. Point two out. That's not bad. Not bad. I think you have point three three coming in or point three coming in all the time, maybe. So not bad. Not bad man, that's great. I love it. I forgot about the upgrades too. So much stuff to do in this game, man. Definitely need that freaking sinew for this rope, though. That is really holding me back, so. I'm gonna start taking the cook. Oh, it's almost done. It doesn't ding or something. I think it would, like, ding when it's done. What does it give me? 35 protein, 17 fruits and vegetables. What is an onion giving by itself? Gives me one more fruits and vegetables. But it probably makes my health and stam go up a lot more. Yeah, look at that. Health and stam health and max stam goes up quite a bit more for that shit, so. That is great. I'll throw that in the fridge before I forget about it. Eat that when I need to. Oh, I'm so excited about this fridge, man. I'm so excited about that. And the stove. That is fantastic. Man, oh man. So what was I going to do now? How much mass do I need for the upgrade out here? Do do do. Uh, upgrade. 40 mass. For the feces tray. Let's see if I have anything. What do I need? Uh, I have the bar, one alloy sheet, two metal, and adhesive. One alloy sheet, two metal, and adhesive. I think I only need two adhesive, I think. What am I at for mass? But I need 40. Yeah. I'm just gonna waste some of these planks. Whatever, man. I can get planks, no issue. Alright, should have enough by the time I get out there. Gonna try to get this done before that sun drops below that tree over there. Alright. Oh, I forgot the freaking metal bar. No! Sunlight! Metal bar. Sweet! Feces tray! Nice, nice, nice. Frickin' awesome, man. Got a lot done this episode, that's great. 
just didn't want you guys waiting around one episode at a time for the fridge, one episode for the freaking stove, so I just wanted to make it up for everybody, you know, make it easy. So, this was a great, great day. Great day. I think I'm going to cut for right now, go out and catch a chicken, throw it in the animal housing, uh, and go from there. I'll bring you guys back first thing in the morning. Alright, welcome back. It is morning. I'm trying to chase down this freaking chicken here, see if I can get him. Come on, chicken. Found my first roommate. Come on, man. Drag me into a freaking bear. Oh, oh, you little chicken, chicken. Right into a freaking bear. God dang it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another one over here. Come on, chicken. Run right to another frickin' bear. Oh, man. Come on, chicken. Aha! Got him. Alright. Bear's not chasing me. Alrighty. Close this door. See what we got. I'm gonna call you Jenny. Jenny. What do I need to fill up this thing here? Like six fills it up. See if I can get water from down here now. Nope, not from there. Get water from here. Yeah, I need water from there, so that works. Dirty water fine? I don't really know if dirty water's fine, but that's what they're getting. That is what they're getting for now. Hopefully it doesn't kill them. Let me know if it'll kill them. Not too sure. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't. Oh, man. Alright, I'll set up in here. Jenny's all fed and ready to go. Give me some feces and eggs. Oh yeah, one feces. There we go. Keep pooping, baby. Keep pooping. I think she caps at level 3, right? Lay one egg each level after level 2. Uh, yeah. Level up to level 3 for this. I need to upgrade it and they'll go up to level 10. So That upgrade is definitely going to happen sooner than later. So Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Animal housing done. First chicken coop in. Got my stove and fridge. Pretty freaking great, man. So, not too bad. Next episode will either be the greenhouse or upgrades on the refinery. I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. So, maybe both. We'll see what happens. So, we will see what happens. Well, if you guys ended up enjoying the video, please go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more of my content, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. It's been real, guys. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.